So we finally reached the end of the first sub arc in Boruto. I just want to say they've been doing a great job with the anime. It's being handled really well. It's very entertaining. I still think the manga needs a little bit of work. The characters keep changing appearance in the manga every few chapters. It's kind of weird to me. But so far, anime, I'm loving it. Really entertaining. Um, this is just going to be a basic recap of the last episode, as well as some of my thoughts on how I think they should handle the series and what I think is going on with Boruto's eye. So I'll talk about that a little bit later on. But jumping right into it, episode picks up right where we left off. Boruto teleported with Mitsuki and Sumire back to Nue's dimension. Uh, that happened by his eye, which is a new thing that we haven't seen just yet. I'm gonna go, like I said, I'm gonna go into that a little bit later. While there, he thinks that Sumire is dead, so he starts fighting Nue, which looks like some kind of weird ass combination of Raikou from Pokemon and and Enma, the third Hokage's um, summon. Uh, but going at it fighting with Nue, he now numbers, discovers that he has another power. He can see the chakra points, which is similar to the Byakugan. So now we know that that ability does lie within the eye as well. Um, Mitsuke then informs Boruto that Sumire is in fact the one controlling Nue from a distance. Once they find her, you know, they start talking for a little bit and then they get right back into some action. Mitsuki is now fighting Sumire and then reveals that he is actually after the Gozu Tenno that's on her back. So orders obviously given to him by Orochimaru, who we know is up to something weird. I mean, at the end of Naruto, he's a good guy, but we don't really know what his true intentions are. He's still kind of ambiguous there, but he's after the Gozu Tenno on her back. Boruto jumps back in, stops the fighting. We get hit with a little bit of flashback jutsu, some talk jutsu, which is clearly what he inherited from his dad. And then, Obviously, everything's all good. Gozu Tenno seems to shatter away from her back and now they're trapped in this dimension. Boruto then discovers that he can see the path out of Nue's dimension. So now we have the teleportation. He was able to see the ghost chakra. He sees the chakra points and now he can also get himself back out of that dimension. Um, they make it out. All right, uh, obviously Sumire is gonna have some repercussions for her actions. We don't really know what all is gonna happen just yet. We're probably gonna find that out in the next episode, but we do know that Nue is under her control and she can now summon him at will. I'm guessing because at the end of the episode, Boruto can see that the chakra has merged with her left palm and you can see the little icon blinking back at her. So that's pretty cool. It's probably gonna be something we're gonna see a lot of in the future episodes. Not really sure what that summon's all about. I guess they're gonna explain it a little bit more. As far as Boruto's eye, again, I'm gonna recap. So we've had him see the ghost chakra. We've had him teleport, which is, it seems similar to like a Kamui type of technique. I'm not really sure, but hopefully we get a better explanation on that. He can also see chakra points, which is similar to Byakugan, and get himself in and out of those other dimensions. So I'm not sure if this is some kind of new Keke Genkai, if it has anything to do with Naruto passing down the six path chakra through his lineage and that merging with Hinata's chakra since she has Byakugan. And of course the Byakugan has, is a pretty much an offshoot of the Sharingan. I'm thinking it has something to do with that. Um, what we know for a fact is that it has nothing to do with Momoshiki. Um, if you don't know who Momoshiki is, he is a villain in the Boruto movie. In the manga version of the Boruto movie, Momoshiki, after he's defeated, leaves Boruto with some kind of strange power, leaves an icon in his hand. We don't really know what that is yet either because the manga hasn't gotten that far. But the reason why we know that his eye has nothing to do with that is because the anime has not even reached that part in the timeline. We don't even know if they're gonna go down the route of rehashing the Boruto movie for a third time in anime form. I really hope we don't have to go that route. I actually think they're gonna go totally separate from the manga and do something totally different. He might not even get that same power that Momoshiki gave him in the, in the manga, in the anime. So hopefully we find out a lot more about what's going on there. And, and yeah, that, I mean, it should be interesting. Again, I'm glad that we finally reached the end of the, the first 
sub arc, I'm gonna keep calling it. Few things that I'm ready for. I'm ready for Boruto as an anime to be able to stand on its own two legs. I feel like the first 14 episodes of this arc has been about establishing some familiarity with characters in Naruto. I think they're kind of going down a, what I would consider a dangerous path with the character of Boruto. Boruto seems to almost be becoming a carbon copy of, of Naruto. We see him spamming shadow clones mid-fight. Now he's also hitting people with the talk no jutsu and they've been building Boruto up as a completely totally different character from his dad. So when Mitsuki approached him with the information that Sumire was the one controlling people with the ghosts, I was hoping that we'd see him stand up and make a different kind of decision and go and handle business. It doesn't look like that's going to be happening. I understand he's a typical shonen character, so they have to kind of go along with those things, but I'm just hoping to see something a little bit different. I mean, they even had Boruto give a, a one-liner that said similar to Naruto's one-liner, the one about, you know, when Naruto wanted to save Sasuke and he's like because because you're my friend it's almost the same exact one-liner which I was just gonna I'm just gonna take it for what it is for now we already have carbon copy characters with Shikadai and and Metal Lee I don't think we need any more of those in the show and kind of another criticism I have I believe if they're gonna bring Naruto into the show make him be useful in the previous episode Naruto saw Nue was about to go and attack, said, oh, I can take it out in one shot, but then stops because Nue absorbs chakra. Like, we didn't forget that the entire Shippuden series was Naruto running from people trying to absorb his chakra, and not to mention the God Tree at the end of Naruto Shippuden, which also absorbed chakra, and not to mention Naruto has speed that rivals the fourth Hokage. So what was the big worry about? I'm not really sure. And also to mention, once Boruto, Mitsuki, and Sumire returned from New Age Dimension, Naruto was nowhere to be found. What happened? Where did he go? What's going on? Um, if you're going to bring him into the show, I know you're bringing him in to, you know, rope in old fans because Boruto is not as popular, but don't just put him in there for the sake of having him in here. Make him be useful. Um, and also, I'm ready for this whole first Hokage's, we're, we're all coming after the first Hokage's cell storyline. I'm ready for that to be done as well. Again, I know this first arc was setting up some familiarity with the whole Danzo thing, but Danzo's dead. Let's move on. Let's bring some new threats in. Danzo's gone. The foundation is done. Let's, let's push something new. Let's stop rehashing the whole first Hokage cell. We've seen that happen so many times in Naruto. Ready for something completely different. So I'm hoping that they move forward and push forward and we get some great content coming in the anime. Now, you guys can let me know what you guys think, what you think is coming down the line, how you think they should handle Boruto. Do you think Boruto is gonna have the same longevity as Naruto? I think it can potentially be even better than Naruto. So that's just my personal opinion. I'm loving the show. They've given us amazing animation. It's been super consistent. I just hope that they keep up with it. That's all I have for today. Just let me know what you guys think in the comments. And as always, I'll be in the comments commenting. If you want to check out my merch, anything that I have on in my videos is usually something that, that I've made. So you can just hit the link in my bio. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the comments.